Hey, welcome everyone to Chatting with Zim. Uh, this is episode number 25, uh, HBH Creations. Um, we had some technical difficulties as far as the time zones go, so, you know, there was a little miscommunication, but he's definitely going to be on. Uh, we're actually putting a late night show today, so after this show, we're definitely going to take a break and then come right back on. But today we got the man, the myth, the legend, Joke T underscore. Joke DT underscore. I'm not sure. We'll we'll see how we get it right right now. After I beam him in, into this mothership and let's get some talking, guys. Awesome work, um, Army vet. So thank you. Big shout out. Hell yeah. There you go. What up? What up? What up? What up? What up? Going. Yeah, yeah. Little fun fact: you're the first to ever wear that uh a badass disguise. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, so that's what's up. Yeah. First on the show, not the first I've ever talked to, so. Right. Fun fact, that's what's up, bro. So. Opportunity, man. Yeah, yeah, bro. Thank you for uh, joining us. Yeah. Right now, right now, we're uh, welcome everybody. I'm just uh, letting them know what happened with the last guy, you know. he uh, His time zone's a little different than where I'm at. There was a little miscommunication, so we're definitely going to have him on later tonight. A late night with Zim, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. But right now, uh, how do I pronounce it? Joke DT or Joke T? Yeah, Joke DT. I write Joke and DT was my first crew that I still rep. Oh, that's what's up, bro. Big hip-hop head, man. Sure. Hell yeah, dude, man. So, uh... First off in the show, man, do you follow any type of, like, comic book stuff? You know, you're, you're, you're big. Uh, pop culture looks like it's influenced you a lot, man. Yeah, so man. Uh, fucking D, D, uh, DC is where is my jam, you know? Not That's a big Superman fan. Uh, I got a piece of Bizarro, you know, that I yeah. do. It's the only one I'll do. I won't do real Superman because I think he's a bitch. <laughs> uh, right. Dope, dope. Comics, fucking... That's where I've been at since I was a kid, bro. Just comics and hip hop, you know, and graph. Cool, man. So I mean, fuck the bullshit, bro. Let's uh, let's get into it, man. What's up with your story? When did you, uh, when did you start getting into like uh, hip hop or uh, or in art drawing? You know, how did the hip hop influence that? Oh, uh, I live in Texas now, but I'm originally from New York, and uh, York. my brother, he's he was all city, fucking Milfer. He writes Milf. And uh, I've been watching him fucking get up since I was fucking like five, six and shit. So, you know, not maybe not that young, but, you know, I started writing on walls when I was 11 and shit. And, uh, you know, I've been just doing it since then, just trying to keep up with him, you know. Uh, I moved out here uh, out to Austin like five years ago to get custody of my son, which I did. I got full custody three years ago. Hell yeah. That's my boy. Aha. Oh, snaps. The, the man hack. Aha. That. Yeah, man. Uh, I came out here and, you know, I didn't want to fuck up my chances of getting custody and whatnot. So uh, I kind of switched over to just doing a little more legitimate shit, you know, making Word. myself and, you know, make some money and, uh, you know, something so I could show my son what I do and. You know, I still get up, you know what I'm saying? It's just uh, not to the level that I used to. Um, I will when, when this motherfucker's in college, you know? <laughs> yeah. Street, you know? But, uh, yeah, man, right now it's just make some art, do what I love. Fucking, it's therapeutic, you know what I'm saying? Keeps me sane, keeps me level. So, you know. No word. So, I mean, you, uh, man, dude, it's, uh, how old's your son again? Nine. Nine. Dude, so I mean, you're uh, honestly you're the first the artist I know whose son actually. Well, Thalo Halo has a daughter. She's actually very good as well. Right. So I'm lying, but I mean, your your son looks like he's a big part of that, bro. That's fucking dope, bro. Yeah, man. Like uh, when I get to do day shows, like in the summer and stuff, when you know I'll bring him with me. He sets up his own table. No, his dollar doodles. Bro, I've seen it. Time. <laughs> I seen that. I seen that. Shout out to Shorty, man. Right. No, that's what's up, bro. And um, as a uh, as a father, bro, for all the other artists who are fathers as well, how's 
Or there goes the billboard. Uh, Fuck it. Uh, what's the feeling, man? What's the feeling like just having your boy next to you, man, while you're doing all, this, all these shows and stuff? I mean, Art I'm walks. Just, I'm just glad that, that he's enjoying it. You know what I'm saying? It, it teaches him the work ethic. You know, you don't need to do a non to five and stuff. And like, you can be creative, use your mind, and make something tangible and then get paid for it, you know? No word. Him the fucking work ethic to, you know, get some thriller in his pocket and he gets to go buy some shit, you know, that he wants with his own money. Gives him a little sense of sense of pride and respect in himself and shit, which is always, you know, the main thing you want as a father is to teach him morals and, you know, the right thing to do, you know? Yeah. Now your your style, dude. It's uh, very uh, very pop culture, dude. That's uh, that's pretty sick, bro. Yeah, man. I mean, a lot of it is just what I like, like comic books and just shit that makes me laugh, you know. Uh, and then every now and then I'll get a I'll get a commission of like blue face or whatever the fuck, and you know I'll do it for the money, but I won't bring those out to shows when I go do shows and stuff because it's not my jam. I don't really. I don't, I don't like music, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I wouldn't, you know, I'm not supposed to make anything for anybody what they want, but when I have to, when I go out and sell it on the streets and shit, I just want to have what I like, and it's mostly just clowns. Ah, <laughs> uh, word. Word, that's what's up. Has there ever been anything, uh, any crazy, crazy ass request that they asked of you, man, that you probably turned down? Well, like, right after Kobe died, I was at a show, uh, and everybody's like, you're going to do a Kobe piece? You're going to do a Kobe piece? I was like, if you commission me, you know, I ain't about trying to profit off a dude's death, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't Work. a person, man, I don't watch basketball, you know? I'm a baseball head, you know what I'm saying? So, it, you know, I feel bad. It's a tragedy and all that, but, like, unless somebody commissions me to do it, I'm not going to do it, you know? No, I've been yeah, getting yeah. Like, more photorealism stuff and, uh, you know, trying to do portraits and shit of, like, people's families, you know, but nothing real crazy, crazy, no. No, that's dope. I mean, one of my favorite pieces right here, let me show you. I mean, I wish I had more money so I could get some, you know, like a green screen behind me and just pull it up on there, but we got to yeah. do it old school right here. Uh, the Bill Murray, that Steve Jesus. Yeah, dude. So, you know, this is some of your work, bro. Yeah, man. I was uh, I was actually visiting my, my older brother. He lives in, in Colorado now, and uh, we went to a festival for my birthday in June last year. And uh, we were all bugging face at this fucking festival up in the mountains. And and his wife had, like, this, has this, like, mug, and she had that sticker, that Steve Zizou. And she was like, can you make that? I was like, shit. I can make anything. You give me a picture, I can fucking make it, you know? Hell yeah. So, I did that. I got one I got one in the crib, and uh, I sent the other one to my brother. That's how I, that's how I did that. I'm trying to do a whole series of Bill Murray. Because uh, I got another one with him as a general. Uh, and I want to do... I want to do, like, a whole series from, like, Caddyshack all the way through Ghostbusters to, like, now. You know what I'm saying? So Yeah. Progression of Bill Murray. He's always, you know, I could recite Ghostbusters, you know, I could be backwards in the room. I don't even need to see the movie, you know? Yeah, was, yeah. So, like, that was a big, uh, big motivation or, you know, I was just a big fan of that shit as a kid. Uh, no, that's dope, man. Uh Dude, you gotta tell me about about your uh, your whip, dude. Sick. Oh yeah. So uh, so there's a there used to be a spot here in Austin. It was like a free graffiti wall. It was just it was called Paso Hill, and it was just like stacks and stacks of free wall. You might you uh, mind if I show if I show the viewers? No, go ahead. You guys gotta see this. This is dope. So yeah, I, I'm sorry I interrupted you, brother. Oh no, you good, you good. Yeah, man. Uh, we've been working on it for two years. Getting different artists fucking all over Texas to to bomb it up and just the dopest of the dopest slaps that I get in trades and shit. I'll just that are vinyl and will last. I'll just slap them on there, you know. Yeah, that's dope. Hell yeah. Yeah, it's uh, 
it, it, it definitely, you know, I'll be at a gas station. It's fucking people like, yo, what's that about? I, it gives me an opportunity to get my card out and shit. So get my name out there, you know, that be li- on the, on the card, which I feel like I should like, uh, you know, that dude, little Mike out in fucking Jersey, who got that, the, the Durango that's covered with the PK kid and all that shit. You follow that dude? No, no, I haven't. You gotta, you gotta send me his DM later. Yeah, man, he's got a, he's got a fire, um, he's got a fire, uh, fire whip. You know, he started before me, and he's got all the East Coast heavy hitters, bro. Fucking, like, uh, shit. His shit is super dope. But it was, it was definitely a motivation for when I started. You know. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah, it looks dope. You, you should uh. Whatever piece you got still free, man, you should charge writers to, to get up on it. Be like, give me 10 bucks and put your name up on it. Nah, I, I, this, that's more, this is for the, you know, that's for the culture, bro. Like, this is just, it helps me fucking meet, meet other artists too, you know? Fucking word. Word nah, of that... mouth. A homie will wreck it, be like, yo, I hit up this dude's whip or whatever, or I'll go to a show and, the and you know, people come up to the car and be like, yo, I got slapped and, you know, so... It's more of just like an outreach thing, you know? Get to meet new cats and trade and just keep fucking doing what I'm doing. Yeah, for sure, dude. I saw I saw you were uh you were selling uh, you were hustling that work, bro, at this uh at this one set here, man. How how did that go? Uh, I had two shows this weekend. I did one on uh Friday night out in San Antonio. Uh the dude bailed out in San Antonio, believe. You know, believe, uh with the gas mask, Jesus, that's everywhere. Uh, and and my homie Rems, they were at a tattoo shop. My homie Bell goes, owns the tattoo shop, and uh, they just started it. They're trying to just do a live painting thing, like once a month, and just have vendors come out and barbecue and DJs and shit. And it was all right. Uh, I got a tat. I traded some art for a tattoo, and I got to meet some cats I didn't know out there. So that was good. And then fucking drove home. Then. Uh, yesterday morning, slept for two hours, and then I went to another show last night. Damn, uh, machine. Yeah, I did all right, man. Fucking, but I try to do at least one show a weekend, you know. Yeah, uh, yeah. And I've been networking out to like different clubs out in out in Austin, and uh, you know, when it's warm, I'll I'll just post up on on uh, the main drag downtown. Like, uh, pops don't really fuck with me because I'm a veteran, you know. Yeah. I'm not, I fuck with, I'm not hurting nobody, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, North, Austin's a real cool place with that shit. Like, it's very art friendly. So, I mean, as long as I'm not impeding the walkway or whatever, like, I always got a shot there to keep doing. Uh, What's up? Uh, what about some of your influences, bro? I mean, besides graffiti artists, are there any other people, you know? Uh, other artists that influence you, either famous or non-famous? Oh, um, well, yeah, man. Um, I mean, like I said, I always love comics and shit. Like Todd McFarlane, his style hey. was, was always serious to me. Um, what's his name? Uh, Robert Owen. He does all the hobo clowns. Um, I don't know, old school, like seventies and shit. I don't even know if dude's alive. Uh, I'm sure. This is one of his. This is one of his posters from back in the day. Oh shit! Right, seventy nine and shit. So like that, and you know, mostly just uh, shit, man. I I grew up in the mecca of fucking of street art, you know, in New York. So like, shit, it, just, it was just always there, bro. Like I'd be catching stock with my eyes of where I'd want to hit, you know, everywhere I go. It's just uh. I, just, I like creative and funny shit, you know? Shit that makes you think, you know? Yeah, word. But, Bro, besides uh, besides graffiti, any other element of hip-hop that you dabbled in, bro? I, I like I like underground, like underground, and uh, I pretty much just listen to old 90s shit, man. Nobody, nobody's making any pop of shit nowadays, so, you know, I can keep that, keep that Pandora on, on the shuffle on my own mix. Playing fucking Noriega and you know Wu Tang and all that shit. helps me keep my accent out here in Texas. <laughs> uh, <laughs> any did you any uh I'm talking about like uh b-boying any b-boying or freestyle? You tap uh, dabble with that? 
got no musical talent. Um, I mean, shit. I just, I just think the classic, man. KRS One. I just love the craft, man. Just beats and samples and fucking and just smart rhymes, you know. Yeah, I, yeah. You know, I fuck your bitch or whatever. You know, shit that makes you think and you know, or storytellers like Nas. You know, Nas was always a everything's a story. You can see it in your head while he's while he's sick, you know. So it's I would enjoy. No, oh, yeah, I feel that, bro. Definitely, I uh, I was born in '85. Uh, I don't know how close we are of age, bro, but uh, you know what I'm saying. I, I grew up during that time. As far as hip hop, you know, I was there for like uh, that whole East Coast West Coast thing. Uh, you know, we're talking about uh, Wu Tang coming up, Nas. You know what I'm saying? Right. Root fucking Jurassic Five. Yeah, dude. You know, and then like. Towards the late 90s, I got into b-boying, and that opened the door to graffiti. You know, I tried, I dabbled in that for a little bit. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So, right. definitely, dude, definitely seeing you, just you, seeing you, you get up, dude, and it's dope. Dope art, bro. Thanks, man. I'm digging it, man. You, you're, you're a big-time hustler, bro. You're, yeah, exa man. you're exactly the people we're trying to talk to right here on the show, man. Well, I appreciate it, man. Just trying to, just trying to get out positive and uh, creative art, man. I just want to get it in people's hands. I want to make some dough doing it, but you know, like none of my prices are ever outrageous and shit. You know, that's why I, that's why I mostly see stencils on my canvas work. Cause I, if I painted something and it took me fucking 44 hours, I'd have I'd have to charge for that. You know, it'd be like 400 a piece. I can design a stencil that I can use a hundred times. You know, and I can cut the price down so everybody's getting it. It's affordable for the consumer, and, you know, I still get a decent amount of things, you know, after materials and whatnot, you know. No, word. No, I, I, I definitely feel that, bro. And uh, that being said, man, who who's like, uh, what, what are your top sellers, bro? What are people buying the most? Oh, dude, I mean, Tupac, Tupac and Biggie always sell. Um, I've got I've got every variation of Joker except the Jared Leto, even the Mark Hamill one. You know what I'm saying? From like yeah. the anime series. Uh, those are always good sellers. Uh, Max Miller, Bob Marley, those always sell. Uh, what else? Uh, the Ninja Turtles. These kids are always good sellers. Oh, those are fire, bro. They, those are hard, dude. Right. Um. Yeah. Hold yeah. On, and that's why I got such a wide variety when I go hustle that, yo, know, you might not like 30, 10 minutes or whatever. There's always something for somebody. So one way or another, somebody's going to enjoy one of the pieces. Right, yeah. Yeah. So that that's dope, dude. You know what, and, and and that's something that I talk to uh, talk a lot about in the show, man. It's like, how do you, uh, how do you, how do you price as an artist? You know what I'm saying? How do you, how do you go about pricing a piece? Because you know, when I started selling, it's like, even to this day, the people say that I'm underselling myself, man. So how do oh, you? On people are like, oh, you like you you should you're undercharging, you're underselling yourself, and honestly, it's just. If it's like a three-layer stencil and I have to use uh, brushes, you know, for all the extra colors and stuff, and, uh, you know, it's really just about materials and the, the how difficult it was to make the stencil. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I have every stencil I've ever made for the last three years stored perfectly in my garage. So but, uh, whatever, I, whatever I got on my Instagram... You know, you could pick it, hit me up. I'll customize it whatever way you want, background or whatever the fuck, you know, and make it straight. Oh, shit. There we go. We are breaking up a little bit. I don't, I don't can you, know. That. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yes, sir. Yeah, we can hear you. It's cool, cool. It fixed. We're good. Word, word. Yeah, we lost you there for a minute, but we heard the... 
we heard we heard pretty much what you said, bro. So. Oh shit. I mean, we could still hear you, so that that's what matters, you know. Word. So yeah, yo. So all the new pieces that I've been doing lately, because uh, I I got a whole collection of art from homies from all over, from back in New York and shit, like. Uh, like my whole house is just damn, damn, damn. Right. I've been collecting for a minute, <laughs> but I don't really hang my art in here. But uh, so all the new pieces that I've been doing, is, I'll take and I'll put in my kid's room. You know. So he's got all the jokers and the octophant. Damn. Fucking. All that shit. That's dope, dude. Yeah, man. We're trying to get his, uh, you know, just keep him peeked into to making art and just, you know, he, dude, he woke me up the other day with a killer slot. He'd be watching YouTube channels and just drawing and shit. So, I don't know, man. It's real proud. I'm, I'm real proud to see him grow like he has and shit. No, dude. And, and that's, that's dope, dude. That, you know, it's your, it's, uh, Back, back to having kids, bro. I mean, it definitely changes a person's life. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, just watching your, your little one grow up, dude, and be nine, dude, and talented as he is right now, dude. I didn't start drawing until I was 11. So, you know, people, watch out. Right, right. And I missed the first four years of his life that he comes to get out on me. Uh, I had to hire a top investigator. That's how I found him. As soon as I found him, I moved Moved to Austin. Uh, car, two I'm in apartment. I cannot do that again. You know? uh, but yeah, that's those, those beginning years that I got to miss. Uh, you know, you can't get that shit back. So yeah. Trying to make up for it now. No, nah, nah. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> no, nah, I mean, the, the good thing is, yeah, you guys. It's, it's it worked out for the best right now, and it's, it's better now than never. You know what I'm saying? For real, for real. real. Dope, man. So, uh, dude, what else do you do, man? Anything else you doing when you're not art? Any other hobbies, bro? That you into? You yeah, said you I, like baseball. You still play? No, nah, I don't play as much. I want to get my son into it, but he doesn't dig it. Um, Word. <laughs> play baseball. I was I was a chef by trade before. Uh, uh, I went to culinary school before I joined the army and shit. And then, uh, you know, I worked as a chef for a couple of years when I got out. And, uh, you know, I like to cook and I don't know, man. Art is pretty much is all I do. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's my only job to I fucking pay the bills. No word. That's what's up, bro. Any any current projects right now, bro? Uh, Working on Baby Yoda. Ooh. Yes, about that. Uh, I got a, I got a Goku in like the the Jesus form, like the, it's kind of like Jesus, but Goku, and he's yeah. holding like he's holding like the Dragon Ball. Uh, I got a big Piccolo coming up. Um, you know, shit. Uh, I got another Pennywise in the work. I got a photorealistic Mac Miller coming out. Dope. Uh, shit. Yeah, man. I, I mean, I, I'm, I. So that's why I just closed commissions like last month because, you know, I've been stocking up these designs to get them printed and, and ready to fucking make stencils out of them. But uh, I keep getting hit with commissions to make like Whitney Houston or whatever the fuck. <laughs> and, yeah, yeah. Right. And so I closed commissions. It might. It, it cost me a little bit of dough, but. I just can't keep seeing the designs that I want to do stack up, stack up, and I never have time for them. So I'm trying to knock them out. I got about about 40 designs already, you know, designed and ready to just get prepped and made into stencils, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, man, there's definitely going to be a lot of content coming out soon. Dope. Uh, dude, I know uh, I know you're in a, in, a, in a clowns, bro. Who's your favorite? Uh, I mean, the first major novel I ever read was uh, Stephen King's It, you know? I yeah. Was like, and uh, 
I read that whole shit and fucking loved it, you know. So Pennywise has always been, you know, I mean, Tim Curry's, Tim Curry's Pennywise. I haven't even done that one yet, but I, I plan to eventually. Yeah, I, I, and I'm a juggalo, man. I've been down with the clowns since fucking like, oh, oh eight. <laughs> ah, word, hell yeah. Been in a couple gatherings and shit. Not too, not too keen on any of their new shit, but you know, that's you know, that's what got me into that. And I guess I was afraid of them when I was a kid, so kind of just like face the fears. Now I got twenty five clowns tattooed all over my body and shit, like, and that's just my persona, man. I'd be out at shows anytime somebody's got a camera on. It's just you know, I got, Bro, um... I got this from the homie Dread out by you. Oh, yeah, yeah. How about Bruce? Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Bro, I, w- I would love to see you do a uh, the Donnie Darko bunny mask. Right, yeah. With, with, with a clown scheme on it, bro. That that In your style, I think that, that'll look dope. Right. Yeah, man. I'm actually uh, I'm actually going to be teaching a dental class at the tournament uh, here in Austin starting next Sunday. Uh, I don't know the, what the schedule's going to work like. It's just a tech class. Uh, but uh, this, tour, this bike touring company that works out here, they've seen me at a bunch of spots where they still roll up for tourists, like with tourists and stuff. Yeah. So they come out, and uh, I've been in work with them to start a, start doing a central class of, like, uh, you know, just basic ones for, like, tourists and shit. So I'm excited about that. Another extra way to make some dough off the art, you know? Yeah, yeah, word. Um, what superpower would you like to have, bro? Yeah, um, in, I'd like to be able to turn invisible. <laughs> if uh, I, you know, get up all crazy. Right, right. Hell yeah. yeah. How about you, Shorty? What would he want to be? Yeah. Noah. Noah. Oh, I, th- I thought he was still in I- there. He was. He's he's out there playing PlayStation now, man. Uh, let him, let him, let him. Yeah, he's been jamming out for a minute. But uh, yeah, man. I uh, oh man, I'm just I'm just blessed to have him in my life and and to be doing some. You know, if you if you do what you love, you never work a day in your life. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's what they I'm, say. I'm you know I put the work in, and I'm just proud that I got the that I can keep doing it. You know. And just trying to keep staying relevant and, you know, give props to all the people that that show me love, like the, you guys, Max, your monsters, Art Clan, and... Thank you, bro. All the cats up in Big Kids Incorporated and AMU, Artist Mind Unite, uh, you know, and just all the people that I've fucking met through this fucking journey, bro. Like, yeah. I just love art, man. Yeah, yeah. Like I, I say it all the time, bro. Exactly how you're feeling right now, man. That's why I, I started the show, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? Is meet other people, you know, and you guys can network, man. You know what I'm saying? There's, right. There's, you know, there's people that that click better than 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 others, and you never know, bro. So that's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, man. Honestly, like going out and selling art—that's my only social life. Like, I don't be going to bars, you know. Just chilling, shit, you know. Like, I'm not really great at talking to people like face to face and shit. So, the only, you know, the best time I can talk to somebody is when I'm selling them art, you know, because it's something I'm proud of, I guess. And you know, it's just I know I know every aspect of it. You know what I'm saying? Hell and yeah! I've always been good at you know talking to people about you know hustling, bro. Like when I was a kid, I selling them fucking chocolates to get in, get the go to Washington, you know, for the field trips or whatever. Yeah. Like, fucking always killed that shit, so like I got the gift of God when it comes to fucking making dough, you know? Uh, yeah, no, that's dope, dude. I, there, there's people that don't have that shit, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's better than selling drugs, man. I'm not, like this is positive or something. Yeah. You know, I'm not okay. trying to get no more like I just I can't do so uh, let's let's do. Um, there's a little segment on my show, bro. We call it um, Josh's Tools. Uh-huh. This is where we talk about uh, the materials that you use, bro, when you're doing your art, bro. All right. 
Uh, so if you got anything uh, on deck right now, that if you if you want to show, you could. If you don't, don't sure. don't worry. We could just talk about it. Yeah, man. I, so so I made my first stencil when I moved out here just to make a piece of art for my kids' room. You know what I'm saying? Where? And uh, I, like that graffiti wall I was telling you about. I used to go up there legally and shit, and uh, I saw some cats selling art, so uh, I made a few stencils. I made a Batman stencil and and, uh, and a Joker stencil, the first one, and I brought them out there, and they sold, so i just been adding new designs, and uh, nobody ever taught me how to make stencils, uh, and all the other, like, I, I looked up YouTube videos, and I just, I don't know, man, none of those the, with the with the screens and shit, I don't. I it just never worked for me. Um, but yeah, man, I got uh. So what I do is I, I'll design the I'll design the image and then I'll send it to a print shop, and they'll print it out to whatever size I want for whatever canvas I'm about to do, you know. And then yeah. I take uh, tan painters tape, and I put it on both sides, and then I built I built a light board with a uh, with this glass coffee table that I that I bought from the thrift store. And then I got a light, LED light, so, like, this is the Yoda. You can see, uh, right? I guess yeah. I started on it. And, uh, yeah, man, so, I'll fucking, I'll knock out all, all the line work on that, and, uh, and about halfway through, when I feel like I'm, you know, I'm at the finishing line of the stencil, I'll go hit up the garage because I rented the garage, which is my studio. Because I used to do it all on my porch, but that shit's too small and I can't yeah. keep none of that shit in there. Right. So uh, I'll go hit the background and then that gives me motivation while that's drying to fucking knock out the rest of the stencil. And uh, now I, I hit the I hit the stencil on the on the background and then whatever the original picture is or what the character is I'll hand paint that all in with brushes and spray spray paint and and then I'll just uh, let that dry and, and then hit cool. it with the black lines on the center. Well, what type of uh, what type of paints do you use? What brand? Uh, just Rusto, man. Rusto? Uh, right. Just um, cause, and, cause uh, what I'm doing, I don't need to be buying Montana for this. You know? Yeah. Rusto's you know they're and decent the, uh, price. And I'm sorry to cut you off, bro. And no, the no, the paint. Yeah. What type of paints that you use, man? Oh, just just spray paint, just rustos. Oh, no, no, I'm talking about paints. You said sometimes you have to go on with the paintbrush. Yeah, but I all all of it spray paint. I oh, use dope. With, with spray paint, I'll, I'll hit Oh, it nice. Hot. Okay. Right, none of it's oil or acrylic or anything. Every joint I have is all spray paint, even the even the fine fucking painted in detail parts and shit. Sick makes it even right. that much sicker, right? Yeah, and it keeps me from having to mix supplies and shit. Like, I don't know, I'm not great at I'm not great at blending like those oils and shit. But I can uh, I can put like a light brown, a little bit of white, you know, and then mix it in the in the cap. And the spray paint seems to mix good, and it gives it that that same feel. You know what I'm saying? Any uh. <clears throat> Excuse me. Any any tips for uh, upcoming artists or graffiti writers who, who are thinking about getting in the game? Any tips you got yeah. for them? Yeah, man. Just get up, but don't fucking cover anybody that's better than you. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, unless they yeah. got beef. Unless you got beef with them personally. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, word. Don't fucking don't rag people just to get fame. You know, especially if your shit's whack and you're just starting. Like, uh, you should fucking you know. There's, there's an echelon, bro. You should have respect for the people that have been doing this for, for time and time. And, you know, just because, you know, you ain't got a job and fucking your mom buys your spray paint, you're 14, doesn't mean you're fucking, you deserve, you know, to go over fucking somebody who has a job and kids and fucking been doing this shit since they were 12, you know? Word. Like, uh, just, just be respectful, fucking, don't be looking for beef for no reason, like, you know, just don't be ignorant, bro. I mean, this is a, this is a culture, bro. Like people, like I go to different cities and I see people, I, you know, I'd be like, yo, I know that dude, you know, I've seen that dude. I have that dude sticker or whatever, you know, and it's, uh, 
it's a community, you know. And uh, yeah. people that are people that are assholes, you know. I just don't. I don't know. I don't dig that ignorant, dumb shit. You know. I just feel just be respectful. You know. That's I guess that's what I would tell them. Word. What about uh, since you deal with a lot of like customer to customer face to face interactions? How, what's one of your like selling tips as far as uh, interaction with your customers? Yeah, uh, so if they come up and they're looking at your art, don't say nothing until they ask you a question. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If they feel rushed, if they feel rushed or like you're trying to push it onto them, it turns them off. They make them feel like they're they're initiating the conversation. Um, always be willing to make deals. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you got to take a loss of of five or ten dollars on each piece to sell multiple pieces, fucking that's just smart. That makes sense, bro. Just you could take a little bit of loss, but you're still winning in the end. You know what I'm saying? Word. Right. Um. Yeah, man. And just you know, the more you're out there, and you know. Anything can happen while you hustle, bro. Especially on the street, bro. There's fucking crazy people, fucking homeless motherfuckers who are just fucking bumbling shit, talking to trees, drinking Lysol and shit. (laughs) 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 Fucking, you know, so you just gotta be, you just gotta be observant, bro. Never, uh, never fucking get complacent, you know, because that's when, when some drunk asshole walks into your setup and fucking puts a hole in one of your canvases, you know? Uh, well, right. what's the consequence for that, bro? What happened? Fucking dude, fucking you're either coming out of pocket and paying me my money for the canvas that you know, yeah. or I'm gonna fuck you up. Like, you know, on the street it's one thing. Like, if you're at a venue, you know, it's they got security and shit at most venues that like when I set up at like clubs and shit. So, you know, I I've no, I haven't run into any problems like that. Most problems I've I've ever had is selling on the street street. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like. Tell us, uh, tell, tell me about your experience uh, here on Instagram, bro. Uh, can we find you anywhere else besides Instagram, or? Nah, man. Nah, I I haven't got a, I haven't had a Facebook in like six years because, uh, you know, I don't be. My Instagram is just my art and pictures of my son. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, you know, I talk to people in the DMs, and I like, you know, I I, I like people as shit, but. It's not about like what I ate for dinner or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm not trying to, you know, you know, keep that shit for the stories, I guess, in the in the highlights or whatever. But yeah, yeah. You on your page, you know, it's it's mostly just a, it's just a tool, man, to fucking get my name out there. So if I, if I'm at a show and I only got, I usually only have a quarter of all my designs every time I go out on to a show or do an event, you know, and, uh, I, you know, I, I always go out with at least 60 pieces, you know, I never go fucking light, you know? Yeah. uh, Like, it's just, uh, I don't know, man. Um, I'm a burnout, bro. I forgot the question. (laughs) 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 Nah, it's Uh, cool, man. We'll keep going with it. Um, as an artist, bro, I know it happens to us all, man. But uh, we always come up with that like artist block and shit. How do you how do you recharge your batteries, homie? What do yeah, you do? Like, uh, well, like the winter winters is normally uh, when I fucking slow down. Like uh, December and January out here, I really didn't even go out and hustle. You know, I've just been working on some new pieces, and I and I took a break. You know what I'm saying? Because Sometimes I get burnt out, bro. Uh, yeah. Like, it, it's all about, like, the things in your life. You know what I'm saying? Art is normally a way for me to cope and deal with shit. But, like, last year my homie fucking killed himself. And that shit took me out. That shit took me out of the game for, like, fucking four or five months, man. Man, like, sorry to hear that, bro. Yeah, man. And, uh, you know, I just, I don't know, man. It was just, uh. There's nothing. There was nothing I could do to keep, get it back, bro. I had no motivation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, I mean, it's always good to take a break, you know, because you come up with some of your dopest shit after a break. You know what I'm saying? When you finally get back into the motivation, and you're like, "Fuck, man, that one piece that you're thinking in your head 
even when you're not really, you know, working, you know, on shit, like, that's the one that gets you back into the game, you know what I'm saying? The one that fucking usually brings you back into the game, you know, so, shit, man, it happens to all of us, man, and, you know, I'm in a bunch, I'm in a bunch of crews, and we have, like, a chat, we got chat rooms and shit, and, uh, you know, people, people be apologizing, they're like, yo, I haven't been putting in work, my bad, like, you, I mean, we're all artists, man, we understand that shit, like, like, it's not sustainable, bro. You can't do this 24-7, seven, seven days a week, 365, you know, without burning out. So, I mean, just, uh, I don't know. I try, to, I try to do, like, every three months, fucking just take a week off, bro. Won't, won't touch a pen, won't touch nothing, man. And that that keeps me to be able to be productive for most of the year, you know? Dope. Any anything else you want to talk about or promote, man? That maybe we I haven't touched on or. Ah oh, shit, man. Um, I don't know, man. Uh, just uh, just check out our crew page, uh, Artist Mind Unite. Um, and you know, everybody. I'm sure everybody who listens or watches these fucking knows about uh, math, right? <laughs> uh, right. Thanks. So. You know, but you, you guys, Bruce is my homie, man. That dude's always, uh, he's always been looking out and fucking, uh, promoting my shit and I do the same to him. You know what I'm saying? Like, Word. I guess it's just, uh, you know, check out my gram, bro. If you follow my stories, bro, I'm always promoting people that, that I know are doing dope work. And, you know, I, you know, I want everybody to eat, you know, there's enough people out there for us all to eat. You know, we don't have to be competition. You know what I'm saying? Like. Fucking, we just uh, just make art, make money, and fucking make friends, bro. You know? Damn, I like that. That 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 belongs on the shirt, bro. Yeah. Let's say make art, make, make money. money. Make there you go. Damn, that's dope. Bad. Oh, that's what's up, bro. Well, I mean. We we definitely got time. I mean, if people got questions, if yours got questions, definitely times to ask. In case there's stuff that I missed, uh, you you ever uh, do anything with sketchbooks, man? Uh, yeah, man. I I mean, I draw slaps all day. Um, yeah. I haven't been doing it as much, but uh, this is uh, this is one of the slaps I just did. I don't know if you can see it. There we go. Oh, there it is. Crunk bunny joint. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, man, and like you can see it, you know, I've been doing trades for fucking ever. These are just all sticker matches, you know. I got them all over, uh, you know, the homie, the homie walks. Check his page out, bro. He's always been, he's been a real good influence in my, uh, you know, in my slap making and shit. Um, the homie Soma, where is it? This cat, uh, Soma33, three, three, uh, his shit is super dope. Uh, he's a veteran too. And, uh, yeah, man, I, I always, I dig his shit a lot. He's, uh, I don't know, man. I just, people I respect, bro, I, I, uh, I just dig the creativity, bro. That's what Instagram's about for me is just seeing people produce uh, quality work and inspiring me to keep leveling up and keep pushing my fucking self to to make uh, better art. And, uh, yeah, man, that's pretty much it. Oh, cool, bro. Definitely respect to that, bro. Good, man. As far as the name, how you get it? You gave it to uh, you. You made it up, or uh, they gave it to you? No, I. So uh, I got locked up at like seventeen. I was writing a different name, and uh, uh, so I switched it up. And I saw everybody. You know, I was always a fan of clowns and Joker. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but everybody writes Joker, bro. Even some of the top heavy hitters from like the '70s that were hitting trains, like Joker, was like a a real famous name, so I wanted the same, ha have the same concept, but, but not have a, 
you know, not have the R in it, I guess. So I just wanted it plural, just write jokes, you know. Uh, fuck, I love stand-up comedians. I fucking love clowns. It's, I just love humor, bro. And uh, it's what I've been trying to bring to people in my street art, you know. Yeah, dope. Uh, you you ever heard of uh, Tony Hinchcliffe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ever heard of his podcast, Kill Tony? Uh, yeah, I have. I, 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 Joe I Rogan's listen. podcast I watch a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah. There yeah, Joe Rogan's, Joe Rogan's made funny. He's always got good people on there, too, and fucking, you know. Uh, yeah. Right. Comedians in cars getting coffee with Jerry Seinfeld, bro. Like, that shit's uh, fucking hilarious, bro. They're just comedians talking, like, just, and it's just, I don't know. I just love, I love stand-up. I love, I love comedy. I love weed. I love laughing. <laughs> ah, there you go. <laughs> dope, dope. Fucking, um, man, I, 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 I don't know what else, man. I don't know what else, know. man. There's, there's always, there's always a lot, dude. It's. I know, man. I've never done this before. This is my first interview ever, so I appreciate the opportunity, man, and. I don't know, man. What do you want? No, to uh, for uh, actually, uh, let, let's talk about something that uh, that I've been discussing with other artists, bro, and uh -huh. that's uh, the the whole fact of people just reselling your art, man. How how do you feel about people right. doing that? I mean, like uh, like Bruce was saying before, like if you're a collector, bro, and that's your job, you know what I'm saying? Like to acquire high quality art for like a customer, like. I don't see anything wrong with that. Uh, I don't feel that if you're at the, if you guys are vent, are you guys are hustling at the same spot? If he's got your shit and he's selling it for more than you got, and you're you're right across from each other, like that shit ain't right. Um, I've amassed a pretty decent collection. I'm trying to leave to my son, which I think, you know, after time will, you know, be worth something. You know, some money, yeah. or at least he'll be able to have something that reminds me of reminds him of me. You know, a fucking yeah. 70 to 100 paintings and fucking just different art and stuff. And, uh, but, yo, if I was ever in a pinch and, I mean, I did buy all this shit, you know, or I traded art for it, you know what I'm saying? And so technically it is mine, you know, and if I had to sell it, like, to fucking replace my kid's kidney or something, I wouldn't see a problem with that. Uh, but just to do it, you know, if you know you're just buying people's shit just to sell it, you know, especially uh, like just people that are hustling, like like we do, man, like just on the street, like you know, we're not. I'm not in a gallery, bro. I don't be doing gallery shows. Like you catch me on the Instagram, I, I'll tell you where I'm gonna be posted up. And if you can make it, you can make it, you know. Or you can yeah. order online, but it's never, you know. I don't know. I'd be mad if somebody caught my shit and just sold it right away. Okay, sorry. My go. kid, corn dogs. <laughs> ah. <laughs> He's like, yo, I'm cooking corn dogs. It's like, Psh, good job. <laughs> <laughs> Low key, make me some, yeah. Dude, right. The older they get, I don't even need to do shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Word. Right. I'm That's right the there, thing. man. My my daughter, my daughter, she's eight, so. Oh yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. so I feel you. It's a good year, man. Yeah. It's, uh, they're almost getting too old, man, to like where they, you know, I'm afraid of that 14, you know, when he just, he's just an asshole and he stinks and, right? Like, yep, yeah. Fucking can't, like, dude, wear deodorant, bro. Like, <laughs> just fucking mind, bro. You need it now, bro. You're going to need it then, too. <laughs> yeah, no. Any, uh, any, any, uh, so we're almost down to like 10 minutes, man. Any tips you want to give on like your Instagram, dude? Um, oh shit, man! Um, Putting on the spot, I mean, bro. Right. What? No. What I've What I've noticed is that you know, you know, I, I like I promote a lot of people's shit, you know, on on my stories or whenever somebody's having a sale, you know what I'm saying? I try to promote that shit, and uh, I don't ever ask nobody, you know, to, for it's not it's not for uh, a quid pro quo. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm not doing it so I can get something back. That being said, it wouldn't hurt if some motherfuckers would fucking bust me <laughs> off once in a while. You know what I'm saying? But uh, 
you know, I mean, shit. I'm still eating, bro. Like, you know, I'm not trying to rely on anybody, but, you know, that's what these communities and these crews are about is is to get our name out there. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I, I mean, I got stickers in every fucking country, you know, fucking Brazil, fucking Indonesia. You know, people send me, they're like, oh, I got one of your stickers from a pack from somebody I fucking did a trade with like two years ago, like, and it's like in fucking Rome or whatever. Whoa, that's, that's it crazy. Fucking makes me, that's where it's at, you know, because that's what Instagram was about for me was to get to get my art. I wanted people to do what I was doing for me, and I would do the same for them, you know. Yeah, word. And I'm trying to do that with the, you know, especially with the car, bro. I fucking, you know, I only have one piece on that car. The whole thing, you know, I got a few slaps, but I only have one one painted piece, and the rest of it is just other artists. You know what I'm saying? And that's just getting their names out there. I'm a I'm a fucking, it's a clown car, <laughs> and it oh, keeps no. me honest, bro. I can't be, you know, don't be drinking and driving in that shit. Can't even <laughs> have a little buzz on because, bro, yeah. I, fucking, I crossed that yellow line a fucking fraction of an inch, and they're pulling my ass over. Oh, yeah, 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 right. for sure, so, dude. Keeps me fucking from doing stupid shit that, you know, I might think I could get away with with just a white car. <laughs> so It's like, oh, they probably won't notice. You see this big right, ass, right. badass painting whip just go by. It's like, uh... <laughs> right. Yeah, no. But yeah, man. It's been, a, it's been a good journey, man. Uh, I don't know how long I'm going to be staying in Austin, to be honest. Um, don't know where I'm going to be going next. I was thinking Cali or like uh, Portland or something like that. Um, you know, uh, I don't know. They, Definitely. All, a lot of people out here in Austin, bro, they, you know, I've met a lot of cool artists, but there's a lot of motherfuckers who think their shit is just so G, you know, and they're <laughs> so much better than everybody. And, uh, you know, even when I first started making stencils, I was just doing like simple one layer designs it would just be a background and it would be like just a silhouette of batman you know what i'm saying yeah and i had like four I, i'd had like 30 of those designs and then i'd go set up next to somebody who has you know they have they're doing oil paintings they're selling their shit for like 250 each but i'm making more money than them because my shit's fucking uh affordable it fucking it it resonate you know i had a shit you know it was a very tourist friendly spot so like, a lot of shit for kids, like Pikachu, Sonic, fucking, um, what else? Hulk, you know? Deadpool. Yeah, yeah. Just simple stuff like that that sold, and these dudes would fucking get mad, bro. They're like, mm -hmm. no, don't get mad, bro, because I'm fucking, because I can sell shit to people, and I'm making what people right. want, you know? Like, shit, bro, like, I just, there's a lot of. A lot of haters, bro, and you know, <laughs> that's right. I don't, I don't, I don't hate on anybody, bro, unless you know you made, you gotta, you know, you've made it a point to make me not like you, and then you'll know. You know what I'm saying, like. But uh, I just, I try to be copacetic with everybody. Everybody I meet at shows, new vendors and shit. I try to network and try to keep fucking, you know. If I hear shows, let you know. If you hear shows, I don't let them know. You know. We just, you know, I just want everybody to eat, and we all fucking work together, and that's uh, a lot of shit that's wrong in the fucking world today, man. It's fucking, people aren't trying to help each other. I hear yeah, that. That's, that's that graffiti wall that I used to be at. So I didn't even have, I didn't even have a setup back then. I used to just post up and put it against this wall, you know, and I had all them simple jams, like the, uh, like you see the Sonic and... Uh, like the simple Vegeta. Yeah. The black dude. Remember Barbecue Becky? That's her calling the cops on Black Panther. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, man. But I had like the SpongeBob and shit, and like oh, that she would, oh. would all always sell to the kids, you know. And um, and yeah, man. People people get mad because because I'm making shit that fucking sells, and I'm doing it cheap and. I'm making profits and and they put you know they put they put a lot of work into their shit too but you know yeah now dope dude yeah i started with just the 16 by 20s 
and I've gradually moved up to, to larger size canvases and shit. Uh, biggest size I do is 24 by 36. So, uh, fucking my homie Grim, Grim Labs. I don't know. You should follow him. Uh, you should probably try to get him on this fucking show, bro. He's, he's super dope. He's in my crew, Big Kids Incorporated. Uh, and he's helping me, he's helping me design a new business card because I just ran out. All right. That's this whole weekend, bro. Fucking not having business cards. I hate that shit, you know? Be like, yo, do you have an Instagram? Fucking follow me right there on the phone. Like, I'd rather just have a card that fucking says what I got. You know what I'm saying? No, word, bro. I'm uh, I'm right there with you, man. I need a, I need a bus start. I'm working. I'm actually working on a logo. Uh, my brother's at Noose, Noose One. Shout out. You know, he's uh, working on it for me. He's cleaning it up. But something along the lines of that double Z I got right now. So Right. Yeah, man, fucking, I'd like to see it when it's done, man, and, yo, you should see, like I said, dude, Grim Labs would be a, definitely a good person to fucking have on your show, he's, he's, he's one of my real close homies, and, uh, and he's super generous, bro, with his time, he's always fucking helping people, and, uh, shit, and he does a lot of, yeah, bro, and he does a lot of collaborations and shit. Um, I mean, yeah, put in the put in the good word for me. Let him know, man, that you oh, know okay, your man. experience, and I'll, I'll, will, I'll reach out to him. Yeah, he he's in the crew with me and Bruce, so fucking we'll just put a bug in his ear, bro, and fucking definitely see what's up. for sure, bro. Yeah. You know, at, at this time, joke, man. I thank you, bro. Want to thank you for your time, bro. It was hey, a pleasure. I appreciate it, bro. Thank you again. Uh, again, dope, dope art, bro. Keep keep rocking it, man. Your 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 you're shorty Noah, man. He's uh, definitely definitely on the right on the right track there, bro. You know what yes, I'm saying? Sir. Yes, sir. So, guys, uh, whoever you whoever you guys are watching, man, make sure you guys follow Joke D T underscore that J O K E D T underscore. Following me on Instagram. Uh, thank you, Theo Halo. Uh, it was a great show, man. Uh, yes, sir. Awesome, awesome time, bro. Yeah, you're episode number 25. So, joke, man. Thanks again, bro. Hey, man, thanks for the opportunity, bro. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep fucking putting the word out there. And uh, the best to you and yours, bro. Keep up. Stay safe. Likewise. And like I like I tell everybody, bro, uh, it's definitely an open door. So whenever you want to be on, you know, let me know. Definitely. Uh, word. You ever want to get uh, on, let me know. Just give me a couple weeks notice, and we'll definitely make it happen. Right, right, man. I appreciate it. Cool, right, bro. Stay up, bro. Likewise, stay up. Respect. Cool. All right, guys. Well, that's it. You guys, uh, you guys heard it. Last uh, few minutes of the show. Uh, I want to say thanks again. A joke. Uh, make sure you guys check them out. Joke DT underscore. Uh, Hellfire Vortex. Nah, not a problem. You could definitely uh, right after the show, check it out right here on the stream again, or wait. I might post it up either tomorrow or the day after. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. I know this is at, would have been episode 26, but it's 25. Uh, 26, it was ABA Creations, HBH Creations 2, actually. Actually, it's ABH underscore Creations underscore 2. Uh, we tried to have him on earlier. A uh, little miscommunication, but we're definitely going to have him on. Take a half hour break and then we'll come right back for a late night show. I guess it's one of them nights. We'll have it. We'll be having on my boy ABH. Uh, last but not least, last few seconds. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you guys take that little break. Go use the restroom. Get something to drink. Whatever you want. Come right back in a half hour. Shout out to Mac Mac Crew uh, M dot A dot C underscore monstrous underscore art underscore clan. So Monstrous Art Clan, uh, sh shout out to me. Make sure you guys go follow me on my social media, YouTube, follow that. Make sure you subscribe, like, all that good stuff. Uh, late night, yo, definitely, Thalo. Shout out to Thalo, Neon Hayes, Bruce13, ABA Creation. Uh, he said he'll soon uh, get it too. He'll be on. And uh, definitely follow uh, The Real Zen Zimmer, one word, or Chatting with Zim. Uh, that's it, guys. This is episode 25, 26 in about a half hour. Come right back. It's going to be Late Night with Zim. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's the show. Thank you, guys. Sky! I'm done.